Hello and welcome. In this video, I'm going to show you how to configure your Visual Studio environment to look like mine. Also going to provide a brief explanation of what's there and what it does and why you need it. So I'm going to open up a ridiculous project. I don't even know what it is. It's called ABC. And I'm greeted by this just blue screen. Did I do something wrong? No. All right, so I'm going to continually head up to the View tab, and I'm going to pull that down, and I'm going to go to Other Windows. You would think that these things are here by default, and they might be, but they might not. I'm going to start opening some things up and showing you what they are. So the first thing I'm going to show is the Solu Solution Explorer. Now, this doesn't... This starts to play a larger role as your programs get larger, particularly as you start importing some image files and really bringing things together. But in the beginning, this is fine. This, and let's just say this shows the various files that are associated with my project. Also a way to configure some of the settings. Then I'm gonna go back to view, other windows, and at this point I'm going to show the properties window. This is a pretty important one. Uh, this is when you've got my form and I want to change things like the names of my elements and the colors and fonts, which you shouldn't, I don't ever mess around with, but you can. That's the properties window. Solution Explorer, it might not be apparent why you need it, but it will be at some point. So the thing that concerns me is I can't see my code. I can't see my form. I can't see anything. So I'm going to use the Solution Explorer, and this is what happens when you open up a project. You get greeted by nothing. If you double click on the form, then, oh, there's my, there's my project, right? It looks like a Hello World program. Kind of getting somewhere. All right, and from here, I can double click on the form itself, any element of the form, and now I'm gonna be looking at def the default event, right? So you've seen this, or you will, pretty soon. Now I can navigate back and forth between form and code view, right, right up here with these tabs, but the big thing that's missing right now is the uh, toolbox, right? So, yeah, I forgot what it's called. It's okay. So I click on the toolbox, and the toolbox is basically how I put all of the elements on my form. And so by default, oftentimes, your toolbox will just be stuffed up in the corner there. And I'm telling you, you don't want that, right? It's pretty painful. So let's say I need a text box on here. How do I get one? Where do I go over here? I hover over it. It expands. I'm telling you that I'm sure that you're going to want to hover over your toolbox if it's not pinned. And you're going to click on this little tack up here, right? And then you pin it because you're going to want that, right? You're going to want, this is why you're using the environment probably. So you can just drag and drop, double click on these elements and add them to your form, right? Let's say I want a text box. I double click on the text box and there we go. And then I can drag and drop it around, right? By default, every form element just has a goofy name like text box one. One of the attributes I might want to do is call this text output. I'm just making things up, right? This program's not going anywhere. But you can see that I need the toolbox to put things on my form, and I need the properties window to set attributes of these elements. And I needed the Solution Explorer to navigate around to the various files that are part of my project. And so you can see how all those things work together. And so whenever I start a tutorial or any video, this is how I set up my environment. You don't have to, and it's not necessarily the default, but that's how I do it. Uh, so what else is in here? Yeah, you'll know if you need this. Uh, the error list sometimes is down there, sometimes it's not, and this kind of this really helps more in the code view. If you've got some mistakes, like I forget how to spell message box, right here I'm going to get my warnings and it's letting me know what I should do to fix that. Also, particularly if you're just starting out, don't get too hung up on these error messages. They probably don't mean anything to you. They're always pretty vague because you've got Visual Studio trying to figure out what you meant to do, right, or what you didn't do, and it may or may not help. Uh, but the underline, that usually gives you a pretty good idea of where your mistake might be. So, no real concepts in this video, but this is how I set up my environment, and I advise you to do the same. Thanks for watching.